They'll be calling you a radical. I got thinking about it. I was so pissed off about, you know, the RT putting this Malcolm Shill up there as nobody will give me a platform because I am the quintessential expert on Fukushima. I'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in the world. I used to eat, sleep, drink this. I literally sleep with it as I'm full of am leukemia. My tale is anybody you people know this tale. But I started thinking, well, fuck them. Why do I sit back and wait for somebody to give me a platform? I did my interview with Jack Durst. I don't want to be, as I say in the more exposed manner, post ignorance. I've read it over and over. My movement, I'm going to do my own. I'm going to do my own. I'll do my own interview with my own freaking movement. I'm going to New York City September at 2 o'clock at Washington Square, where it should be, where I tried to try coincide post-ignorance with the shirt 100th anniversary of the shirtwaist fire. At, right there. That's where they burned to death. That's what gave us this empowerment of our working class. And that's what I'm doing. And my hierarchy, I'm not this. I'm not going to sleep out in the park. I'm not, and I want everyone to march with me. I'm not going to go against, I want the cops to march with me. I want the laid off Wall Street workers who algorithm sucked up to the top and destroyed that. I want them to march with me. I want this to be a friendly but loving but strong, powerful movement. The poetry and cultural conversations are dangerous. Passionate, intelligent arguments get. My hierarchy? There's a reason it didn't happen then. F Fukushima happened. Fukushima. So I'll go. I don't care if not one person. I want Occupy to march with me. I want Anonymous to march with me. I want the Peace Lover Cindy Sheehan's group to march with me. I want everybody to coincide, but it has to be there. It has to be at Washington Square. That's where every movement and every really worked happened. Everyone that really worked happened. And they all started with a very small group of people. As the shirtwaist fire is so iconic, there's a reason Fukushima happened. 3 11, 11 right before the 100th anniversary. And it changed my heart. It changed everything. As I got leukemia, AML leukemia, six months later and was given less than a 1% chance to live. I want people to understand nuclear fallout. Oh, we have technology to cure cancer. I'm in the number one bone marrow transplant unit in the world. It was a YouTube video that saved my life. Our survival rate. Everybody in there's passed. Our survival rate is so low post Fukushima. My daughters have verified it. I'm going to march from Washington Square with my post ignorance sign and my science fiction economics as I have it. Dot com bubble, housing bubble, hope bubble. I'm going to march from there to Alexander Hamilton's grave at Trinity Torch, the man who gave us tariffs. The Coast Guard, the first thing, to the exchange building right there, the foundation of this country that was founded, this country. Tariffs right there to New York Harbor. I'm going to march right there to look out over Battery Park to the Statue of Liberty. This is a worldwide and I don't care if one single person marches with me. Not one. Because I have this camera. And I have my army and I hope this encompasses everybody. And I'm starting this movement over. Post ignorance. I have a hierarchy. You know I've read my hierarchy of needs over and over. One. Tariffs. Why? We don't need to raise taxes in this country. We don't need to raise taxes in this country. We need to close loopholes for the corporate scum and allow them to quit. As Alexander Hamilton said, we need to, we need to empower, enlighten our populace. We are not the queen system. We are the American system. We will use tariffs to stop cheap Chinese goods. The Chinese will still import, which the Chinese aren't the Chinese. They're American companies just using Chinese slaves. That's all they are. We will charge 45% tariff of any of their good. You know, you say, oh, my Walmart bill will go up. Good. So will your wages by 10 times. We want usury laws back in. We want antitrust laws enforced. We want white-collar criminals to be... We want equity in all. We want to empower our children and give them a chance to suck our lead. But we have a new hierarchy, number one and foremost, to stop the genocide of the mighty blue Pacific. We want Fukushima entombed, the cover up of Fukushima, riding at the levels raised. We want Gina McCarthy held accountable. We want the NSC, we want the nuclear industry, the lies. As Megan Rice, we want her set free, she calls it nuclearism. We want the Patriot Act refilled taking away all our rights. We want NSA gone. I mean gone. All of it. I have my hierarchy. And I'm going to go to Washington Square. I'll lay this out more in detail. September 20 at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock. I'm going to start right there in Washington Square. 
This is going to be a peaceful, loving march with all encompassed and everybody with me. I want the police to march with me. I want the children to march with me. I want autism people. I'm autistic. I know why I'm autistic. Nuclear fallout. I want nuclearism to end. I want the freaking all the spent fuel sitting on site in all these freaking 104 planes to be either put in the National Depository at Yucca Mountain or shot in your face. I want the nuclear history over. Over. Oh, Fukushima entombed. I'll lay this out more in detail. September, 1 o'clock, Washington Square. I'll march from there to the Trinity Church where Alexander Hamilton's grave is there, to the exchange building where we set up tariffs and the Coast Guard. I want the Coast Guard to march with me over to through Battery Park and look out over the Statue of Liberty. Stay in tune.